So, uh, landing my list, Brent Caldwell. He's uh, he's from Warsaw, Kentucky, from the same uh, city where I grew up as a child, uh, the first 17 years at least, um, in in that oppressive hellhole, that fucking you know shitty, shitty fucking violent. Um, uh, that county is filled with lots of white psychopaths. Okay, so um, the Brent Caldwell, he murdered a homeless person, Jerry Sample, in 2002. Offered lots of uh, medals, issued medals, was suspended with pay. Um, got awards, picture in the paper, you know, it was a hero, right, for murdering this homeless guy, supposedly in self-defense, but we only got one person's story, the other person's dead. Joseph Thomas West Becker murdered nine people at the Standard Grover Corp in Louisville, Kentucky in 1989. Um, so, 89, this is another, a workplace shooting that happened in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, so... So let's talk about them. Okay, so the reason why we're talking about these aberrations, which we hope they're aberrations, it, it's a possibility it could be the norm. The majority of Kentuckians could be white psychopathic murderer to be. You know, they have the psychopathy in them, they have no empathy for others, they lack anxiety, and they don't give a shit if somebody is hurt. This makes me think of like fucking group of jocks. When somebody falls down, they're all like, oh, oh, he fell down, <laughs> you know, I'm a fucking jock, and that's what I know how to do. I know how to laugh at people. I don't know how to fucking inspire solidarity. <laughs> I don't know how to cooperate and work well with others. I'm a dick, and we know how to laugh at people, and we learn from our teachers and our cops that might is right, and being a dick to others is how you get your way. When there's assertiveness tactics, there's way better ways to uh, get in your own way than... Uh, than through fear. So, so yeah, okay. Let's talk about the white psychopath murders. Okay, so you have. Um, see, I want to actually look up, make sure I get in in Marin County, Marlene Olive. Okay, I'm looking it up right now. So, Mar Marlene Olive and Charles David Riley. Okay, so local murder. It says it's a November 2008 magazine. I don't know if it was uh, Kill My Parents, the story of Marlene Olive, True TV, uh, History.com. Okay, so uh, uh, let's, let's take a look at this. All right. So, Bad Blood, there's a book that's written by Richard M. Levine, Bad Blood, a Murder, a Family Murder in Marin County. So, um, this is a 1975, this happens in June of 1975. So, Bad Blood, a Family Murder in Marin County talks about um, a 16-year-old Marlene Olive. So you got a 16-year-old Marlene Olive, and you got 19-year-old Charles Chuck David Riley. They casually talked about, then they carried out the brutal murder of Marlene's adoptive parents, James and Naomi Olive. So they were adopted. They weren't even, you know, her own parents. Now, if they're the oppressive type, again, we're looking for these aberrations. We're looking for the breaks in society to prevent them. Why do we want to know about Charles Manson? Nobody wants to know about Charles Manson, but unfortunately, if a human being is capable of doing it, and they're doing it in mass numbers, there's lots of these psychopaths out there, then um, that's indication that we all have the, the capacity to do those things. Everybody has a capacity to do any evil or any good thing at any point in time, whenever they feel like. If a, I walk outside and I see a homeless person, and he walks up to me asking me for change, I can react however I want to react. I don't have to react. I can keep walking, go about my day, pretend like nothing's happening, right? Um, I can stop and say no. I can say yes. I can give them money. I can punch them in the face, right? So I can do something evil. I can do something good. I can do something neutral. And, um, and, and any person has that capability at any point in time. So what I do, I have a moral core, a moral principle core, and I treat others the way I'd want to be treated. I can't. Um, I'm not in a position to financially give money or to help anybody out, but I am uh, willing to stand by you in the struggle and fight by your side. So I can't help you. I can't give. I And since I know that I can't give people, you know, a real good boost, I don't have jobs, I don't have in this uh, corporation or um, positions to pass out um, uh, or any, you know, network, uh, knowing people in different factories to help get people jobs, um, so since it can't help, like on a massive scale like that, 
then I it, the struggle teaches me not to hurt anybody. Okay, so I with the homeless person, and maybe I might give him a buck if I wanted to. Being that it's right outside my house, I'm not inclined to give any money right outside my house like that. And you come back, and uh, it sucks though. I it, it is a, sci a psychopathic quality to you know ignore homeless people and go about your day. It's not easy for me to do so. I feel bad about it because they are going through something and. Um, I don't know, I wish I was in a position where I could actually do more about helping their, their positions out. So carrying on, you have in, in Marin County, which I don't even know where Marin County is, it's got to be in the west somewhere, um, because I'm pretty familiar with, there's Marion County, <laughs> well, that's what they talk there's Marin County Water District, and Inez. Marin? They mean Martin County? Could they, I mean, could they, he got that set that off, Martin County? Or Marion County? I don't know. I, it says Marin County. It's by Richard Levine. So he fucked up with the fucking, which sucks, because it kind of fucks with his credibility. Excuse me. Fucks with his credibility. Um, but let's carry on. Let's learn what we can learn. The 16-year-old Marlene Olive, 19-year-old Charles Buck, David Riley, they talked about they kill his, her Marlene Olive's adopted parents, James and Naomi, Naomi Olive. The killings took place in June 1975 in quiet and conventional, here we go, we'll look at the city, Tara Linda neighborhood. So, Tara Linda, Kentucky. Tierra Linda? Frankfurt. Tierra Linda drives in Frankfurt. So, maybe that's what he's talking about. Um, what county is Frankfurt, though? Like, how the fuck did I not find where Marion County is? I know Marion County. I know Martin County. I don't know Marion County. Is that, is Frankfurt in Mar It's in Franklin County. So, okay. I don't understand. Uh, carrying on. <laughs> uh, you know, check your sources. I'm gonna keep on saying everything. It's a whole book, so <laughs> I would think there's it's chock full of good information, even though they might have holes in it. You know, here and there. So, uh, June 1975, Tara Linda, Tierra Linda, maybe the right. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, two na teenagers are disposed of the bodies by wrapping them in rugs, dousing them with gasoline, burning them beyond recognition, and abandoning cistern in China Camp State Park. I got a feeling like this ain't even in fucking Kentucky. 1969, Marlene Olive, child of oil executive. So these motherfuckers are rich. James Jim Olive and homemaker Naomi Olive, Americans residing in Ecuador, playing her father's study. Marlene came across a paper that troubled her. What's adoption mean? Then they, they told her. Um, they weren't able to uh, have babies, so they adopted her. Marlene cried. Right, she was sad about it. They adopted her after the day she was born. Um, he was an army recruit, wedded Naomi Wagner in '44. Couple moved to Panama. They wanted to uh, take advantage of the real estate boom. Uh, Naomi displayed extreme vigilance. Richard Levine reports of bad blood of family murder in Mary County for the first six months of man life. Right, we're going to talk about this anyways, because maybe this is a good neutral thing, because Kentucky wants to talk about, you know, for uh, Kentucky, you want to hear good things about the state. The truth is the truth, and there's bad and good everywhere. You, to be a realist, you got to accept the good with the bad. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, to... <laughs> um, let, let's just keep finding out what I can find out about this, okay? So, how much more time I got? Nine minutes, I got six minutes. So, so you got these couple, they're like Visago, so you can compare it to something in Kentucky. They're both psychopaths. They kill these fucking rich, well-to-do people. So it's not just like poor, you know, distraught people. It's not just white supremacists. It could be anybody, you know. And it actually seems like they're nice people because they're fucking adopting this, this lady. Um, a teenage girl's boyfriend murders her parents. Police are called to the home of Jim in, in California. Terra Linda, California. That's why I don't fucking know Marin County. Well, sorry, this ain't a fucking Kentucky piece. Um, yeah. There's an update to that story, though. Barbecue pit murder loses another parole bid. This is in 2008. I got a P, so I think I'm actually going to end this one right now. Um, we're going to come up. We're going to talk more about the different white psychopathic murderers in Kentucky.